April 2012, the biggest bank in America is about to find out that they made a massive mistake. Not in a meeting, not in a deal, but in a spreadsheet. And it's already cost them over $6 billion. Chapter one, the safe bank. 2008, the banks are dying. You remember this, the housing crash, everyone losing their jobs. But JP Morgan, they're not just surviving, they're saving other banks. Their CEO calls them the fortress. Basically, we don't mess up. And inside the bank, there's a team called the CIO. And their one job is to keep the money safe. Boring stuff, zero risk. Like when you have a savings account, you just leave it alone. That was supposed to be their job. Except one guy didn't quite get the memo. Chapter two, the whale. London 2012, there's a trader named Bruno. His trades are so big that when he buys something, the whole market moves. They call him the London whale. He's supposed to be playing it safe. Instead, he's betting billions on stuff so complicated, even experts don't fully get it. But here's the crazy part. The bank's computer says that everything's fine. Green lights everywhere. Why? Because someone messed up a formula in Excel. It's like when you're doing your taxes and you accidentally put a number in the wrong box. But this wasn't just a tax return, it was billions of dollars. Chapter three, the mistake. That same year in 2012, JP Morgan updates their risk calculator. It's basically a spreadsheet that tells them how bad could this get. Somewhere in there, someone copies a formula wrong. Instead of adding things up the right way, it divides wrong. Just one tiny mistake. But that mistake makes the computer think that their risk is half of what it actually is. So when Bruno was making these huge bets, over $100 billion worth of gambles, the bosses believe it, the risk people believe it, everyone believes it. Because Excel said so. Chapter four, it all falls apart. March 2012, other traders start noticing something a bit weird. JP Morgan has these massive bets out there and they smell blood. So they start betting against them pushing the other way. Like when you're playing poker, someone realizes you're bluffing. Bruno's trades start losing money. Hundreds of millions and then billions. Finally, someone says, did anyone actually check if this spreadsheet is right? Chapter five, the realization. When they finally look at the spreadsheet, they find it immediately. The wrong formula just sitting there. The real risk, five times higher than they thought. JP Morgan announces, we've lost $2 billion. Then it's three billion, then five. The final damage, $6.2 billion gone from one mistake. The CEO goes in front of Congress and basically says, we messed up. Bruno gets fired, the bosses resign, and everyone is furious. You know, the craziest part is that it wasn't a criminal. It wasn't a mastermind. It wasn't even on purpose. So think about this. JP Morgan had 260,000 employees, the smartest people in finance, billions of dollars in computers, and they got destroyed by a copy and paste error. The next big disaster won't be some evil plan, it'll just be someone who didn't double check. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe because we upload every week.